So we just watched you throw 10 consecutive frames with the Money Badger Tour. Now we know for a prerequisite this ball had to be good that was all black. Can't really name a bad ball that was all black. Um, now this ball features the inverted grapnel core. Tell me what you see different between that ball and the ball you just tested also the Honey Badger Extreme. Solid. Oh yeah, those two different, uh, two big differences. Um, the Money Badger Tour, so the Honey Money Badger Tour, <laughs> the black one, definitely, in my opinion, got down the lane a little further. Definitely got down two, three more feet, a little more back end. Um, where the other ball, the Honey Badger Extreme, thought was definitely a little earlier. That was the biggest difference I saw. Definitely a little more overall hook too. Now the cover on this ball is I believe the S78R. This is the same cover that was featured on Truth Tour, but you had a Truth Tour. Kind yeah. of what was the difference between those balls? Oh, there's definitely a difference. Huh? The biggest difference I've seen when I had the Truth Tour and to the Money Badger... Tour. 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 <laughs> um, the biggest difference I see is the Truth Tour was definitely a lot earlier. A lot earlier. Definitely... This ball gets down the lane definitely a little further and definitely has more back end. That was more earlier and just kind of set up. So, um, with what you saw out there, you had that one split in this game and you also had a bone nine. I think they were on the same lane. They were. What happened with that split? Okay, the split, I didn't anticipate that ball hooking that much. It really wasn't a bad shot. I might have grabbed it and got a little slow. But uh, I was a little surprised by that. The nine pin, I grabbed the head. I grabbed it. <laughs> And almost 7-9 if you guys saw. But um, I kept moving left on that lane throughout. Because remember, we're going on a used house shot. So I kept having to move, move, move. And then I finally got far enough left to where it looked pretty good. And so same thing with the Honey Badger Extreme Solid. Arizona, where do you see this ball in play? And is it making that journey? Yes, it's going to make the journey. And I see this ball in play for more medium paddles. Maybe like 39, 40 feet. I think it would look good. Um, I wouldn't say so much long, but with a medium range, which I think we're born on 39 to 41 is what I heard. So uh, I'm definitely going to bring it and see where you know comes into play. So final thoughts on this ball? Um, I like it. Now, as I don't believe was mentioned, what did I do with the ball? Oh, yes. We did forget to mention yes. that... Uh, prior to this video, he had thrown in a few games, um, and we actually re-sanded the ball, and we went 360, 500, and then 5,000 grit. Yes. Now, doing a step sanding process like that, you're going to get a really deep valley, which is what's going to let the ball dig, mm -hmm. but by going all the way up to 5,000, it's going to shine it just a hair and allow you to get a little more push out of the ball. Yeah, that's exactly, and that's exactly what happened because this cover is very, very, very strong. So I think at 5,000, it looks even better than the box finish just for a personal standpoint. Okay. So. Thank you. Mm -hmm.